Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. This is an automatic changeover switch. Uh, you can call it automatic transfer switch. So let us understand how it works. Now, I did some videos a couple of years ago, um, which you can refer to, especially if you want to understand the, the systematic I uh, put a video in the, uh, I will leave it I will leave a link in the description and also on the info card. All right. Now, let's begin. So, this circuit here it's complete. It's a working automatic changeover switch. Uh, let us explain a few things. Now, first uh, to understand this is a three phase automatic changeover switch. It's a three phase. So, if any phase is missing in the equation, the circuit won't work. Okay, so this circuit is suitable uh, if you're having an installation which is purely uh, three phase. In any case, in any case, if uh, there are some gadgets or devices uh, like motors, drives, which may not work well with less than a phase then this setting here it suits for that kind of co configuration okay all right now let us look uh the sequence of this kind of ATS. ah yeah let us first begin with the power circuit okay now the power circuit let us look at the flow of uh, current and the wire configuration now we have the input power here so we have these breakers okay and we have two sets of breakers here so these are three breakers these are three breakers now this is mains your utility power supply and uh, this is uh, the generator so your power circuit you have your four wires which are running through the first contactor which will be your mains contactor and then you have the second set of wire running through the second contactor, which is the generator contactor. And then the output comes into the breaker here, which is known as a load breaker. Okay. Now, if you'll see here, the load breaker is linked. These are three breakers linked. In any case, if there is anything happened beyond the ATS, the thing will trip all of it so that we don't have single phasing. Okay. All right, now let us look at the control circuit. Okay, so we have uh, we have a control circuit, two of them. Now the blue wires, this is the uh, mains control circuit, and then the red wires, it's the generator control circuit. Okay, so. If you look at the generator control circuit, we have uh, three breakers which are supplying the individual uh, comparators, voltage comparators, and then we have a fourth one which is a control breaker. Okay, now we have the comparators which are constantly monitoring voltage in this circuit to make sure that uh, voltages are in the normal ranges. In any case, if one phase uh, reads something different then the circuit would de-energize now we have a timer on delay timer it's good to delay in any case if you're running on a generator and uh, the mains resume you need to have a delay just because if the voltage are not stable okay then we have a relay here then from a relay to the mains uh, contactor now when we come to this side where we have uh, the generator uh, control circuit or control devices. We have a relay, gen relay. We have a control breaker here. And then uh, we have a timer and another gen relay, okay? And then a bunch of uh, connectors. So like I said, where are you seeing the blue wires? It's the control for the mains. Where are you seeing red wires? Control for the main, for the generator, okay? So let us look at this as we explain. Now, uh, I want to power the circuit and then we see how it operates. So if you look here, 
phase number one has got voltage 234 and uh, the internal relay for this comparator has closed now these comparators are working together to control the circuit so if one phase is missing we cannot energize this uh, this circuit okay so until all the three phases are variable that's when the circuit will energize now yellow phase it reads 234 and the relay is closed let us have the third one so the blue phase it's on and we are running so you see the circuit has engaged because all the comparators are reading normal voltages now since this is a three phase uh, ATS in any case if any of the phases have uh, got any abnormality then the circuit will energize in this case let us test we can try to switch off the yellow phase right here the circuit will energize okay back on the circuit will energize we can even switch off the blue one it will energize the circuit okay put back on we can even switch off the red i hope you see that and then we can switch back on so basically you see since it's a three phase any of these if registers an abnormality in the in those quantities then definitely the circuit will energize okay now because it is an automatic changeover switch what do we expect if this contactor the mains contactor if the energizes then the generator will be called through these uh, contacts here uh, where the signal gen signal is connected now let us assume uh, let us let us assume we have another voltage here okay or let us assume the entire uh, utility supply is off so this went black and then we are having a generator on so the gen breaker is uh relay is on the timer is counting okay so the gen counter is counting the gen timer is counting let's wait and see and uh indeed this is what we have okay so that means that the gen uh the generator is running and the contactor for the gen has engaged so we are now having supply on the generator okay now the one thing you have to understand that there is what we call priority so the mains is the priority in this configuration so if the main resumes as the generator is continuing supplying the load the main circuit will override the gen circuit and the main will take over let's see that so we are having voltages on those comparators okay and if you see all the three comparators are on the timer is running so the timer has run and the generator has been overriding okay so uh you see the generator is still running uh the timer is still armed but the mains has taken over so that's how this circuit should operate now usually the main the gen will have some delay in any case if there is you know the power is not quite stable so the gen will continue running for maybe you can delay for maybe it depends on the uh, stability of the power if the power is not quite stable then we can have like 30 minutes on this timer here such that if there is an abnormality the gen will not start again it will continue running so if you switch off here this will just switch to the gen okay yeah so we also have a delay uh in this timer we can also if the power is not that i mean if the power is really in a bad 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 shape then we have to put more minutes here such that it will take more time to engage so uh we switch on the mains and it will override this we have that switched over now that means that the generator will go in cool down mode after the specific time that you've set the gen will go off okay and these stuffs will shut down okay so something like that now 
that's how it uh, that's how the entire thing uh, operates this is a very simple circuit I have a video in the description that explains the entire circuit but uh, I think I'll have a circuit uploaded okay <clears throat> all right now if that video uh, you know worked for you please go ahead and uh, give us a like subscribe go to the comment section write your question there if you have any query yeah let's engage uh don't forget to watch that video the link is, is in the description and uh, right here the info card okay yeah until next time i'm out and thanks for watching